Hello and welcome my fellow homo sapien friends and today we are doing a Destiny 2 Warmind review. Now as you all know on my channel I do news reviews and other things gaming. Now at the moment I've been doing a lot of Destiny 2 videos but this is because it's been obviously new news and a, obviously a big update came last week with the new expansion. Now Warmind I can happily report is absolutely amazing. It's still not perfect but it's definitely in the right direction to making Destiny 2 a great game again. Well, I say making Destiny 2 a great game, I mean making Destiny a great game. Because honestly, I did really enjoy playing Destiny 1 even from the get-go, even when it was at its lowest point, I was still playing Destiny 1. But I have been a bit behind on Destiny 2, but this is because other games have been coming out and I've been enjoying them. But now it, it's fantastic to feel that grind and the, the challenges, especially in the new Destiny expansion. Now, as you're all aware, there is not a very big story and it doesn't really reveal a lot. But honestly, I, I wasn't really that bothered about the story. I mean, yeah, I like story-driven games but I don't play Destiny for its story if I'm honest the lore is massive and to put it all into one game would be you know it, it would take a lot longer which is not too bad I guess but it would just get very boring trying to fit it all in and explain it all in different expansions and stuff like this so with what they would they have done in DLC uh, it, it's pretty average but it's it definitely feels more enjoy enjoyable than the Curse of Osiris DLC ever did. Now don't get me wrong, I did enjoy the Curse of Osiris DLC. However, it was very, very short and there was very minimum to do on it and there was, there was really not really much of a grind to it. And as for challenges and difficulty spikes, you, you could basically level up within literally hours and it just, it, there was just no like, getting back into the game straight after do you know what I mean like there was still no reason to log in each week each day even to try and get whatever it was that you were chasing now I can say in this DLC they've nailed it on the head absolutely now obviously I've just got my sleeper simulant today because I've just done the last mission and what you're seeing in the background is me obviously doing the last part of the sleeper simulant mission so it's an absolute fantastic grind like yeah it, it takes a while and getting the well the the second to last part of the puzzle done takes the absolute piss especially when I'm only like at the moment my, my light level is pretty shit but I have been constantly trying to find those little symbols that you have to shoot with the the burns on them I've been trying to find all those so I can get the sword and the sparrow and stuff like that and I'm trying to do it without looking at videos so I'm doing it all by myself I'm not looking at any videos I've had a couple help like during the playtime I've had a couple of people help me out with um, with finding those that I couldn't find but other than that I found I think 37 of them and out of the 37 I think I found about 35 by myself without any help at all so I'm pretty impressed with that I'm trying not to find it on a video somewhere I wanted to learn it all for myself I feel that it takes a lot away from the game if you're taking the easy way out and then complaining that the game is not long enough it's too easy and stuff like that well don't look at videos that help you out why not try the game for yourself go through it as it is play it as a brand new game like going blind with it like rather than going on the YouTube and and obviously like finding it on websites and stuff where all the the locations are why not find it for yourself it basically like I feel that gamers now have a very very short attention span and I don't know if this is because obviously they've got other things going on in their lives where they're just they can't play it for like eight hours a day do you know what I mean like they want to be with some of them are parents some of them have long jobs that we have to work long hours and stuff like this so like I, I guess having that would be easier but for me I just I just like finding things out for myself it makes me feel like I've accomplished something now the escalation protocol is very difficult I mean very difficult like they have absolutely amped everything on the difficulty spike even strikes now strikes are an absolute nightmare if you are not 350 or over 
Like, you can do it. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm not saying you can't do it. But it is a very difficult um, encounter, especially with the burns on it as well. Like, there's... I think the first strike I ever did was, was like, solar burn was slightly increased. And melee damage was increased as well. But this obviously affects enemies as well. So... If you're doing a Cabal mission and you're getting swamped by them gladiators, which are the most annoying thing in the game, you're, you're pretty much gone in one hit. Like, honestly, it's it's so much more difficult. Like, from when strikes used to take, like, 10 to 15 minutes maximum, like, and now they take a good half an hour, 45 minutes if you're not quite at the level that you need to be. And it really makes you think tactically about when you go into the strike. Like... Now I'm finding myself using more shotguns because with the closer range that the enemies are now, shotguns are perfect for just clearing out the ads and getting rid of that, the, the crowd in front of you, I suppose. And that's just fantastic. Like it, it's really making me have a reason to use shotguns because up until this point, I never really used them, if I'm honest. Like I was mainly like a grenade or a rocket launcher or occasionally a fusion rifle, but not very often. But now I'm actually using shotguns again. And the catalyst for Darcy is absolutely mwah, sweet as fuck. Honestly, it's awesome. I never really used to use the Darcy at all. But with the catalyst on it, it, oh, it, it just makes makes the gun so much more powerful. Like I, I will be grinding for the rest of the catalyst. So again, there's another part of the grind that I could be doing. There's also a quest that renews eight each week. Maybe for the Polaris Lance, possibly. No one has ever got this gun yet. So this could be a possibility that with the uh, codes you've got to do for Anna Bray each week, the, the, there's five to do in total. Um, maybe after the fifth one, you have to do another quest. Upon that quest, you have to do um, something else. And then maybe, maybe you get the gun from that. And that would be fantastic. Another weapon for us to grind for. And honestly... The grinding in this game is fantastic. They've really nailed it on the head. Like, I know I'm praising this uh, DLC quite a bit. I mean, they've got new ships, new sparrows, new ghosts, and they're not complete reskins. Now, I cannot emphasize this enough. Not all of them are reskins. That's fantastic. Finally, we're getting some brand new stuff for the game. And it's it looks incredible. Like, where were they hiding some of these ideas? Like, it actually makes me want to have these items now. Whereas before, it was just like, oh yeah, that's a reskin of that. Like, it, it, it just makes you want to grind it because it looks different. Do you know what I mean? It looks fantastic. It looks beastly. The only thing I feel that we need from strikes now is some specific loot to make us want to grind the strikes again. Now, we've got heroic modifiers, which is a step in the right direction for strikes. But however, we need that extra little bit just to make us want to grind for that special weapon special armor piece now please for the love of god no more emblems i've got so many i can only equip one but it's not a very hard choice for me whereas if i had to choose from a piece of armor or a, a weapon that i'd rather be using instead make that hard choice for me do you know what i mean we need something like that in the game now with mars the new map it, it is so much more bigger than I ever thought it would be to be honest and it's definitely a lot bigger than Mercury which was a massive disappointment which is kind of ironic considering how small it is but Mars I'm super happy with even some of the enemies in it are quite hard as well and there's so much more to explore and especially with those little symbols you have to shoot as well it just gives the game a lot more exploration I love games when there's exploration it's a great step in the right direction for Destiny 2. And if they continue on this path, I can imagine, imagine me playing even more hours than I already am now. Now, I haven't yet experienced the PvP or the raid layer, mainly because I'm not really interested in PvP, if I'm honest. I will give it a go, don't worry, but like right now, I, I, I haven't even worked on my other two characters. I'm solely working on my main class, which is the Titan. I haven't even touched my other two characters yet, so what I'm trying to do is get my Titan up to a decent level where I can be like, yeah, I'm happy with where it is, and I'll just go on to another character and go from there. Honestly, like I, I have been raving about the game. Obviously, there are, there, there are things that need tweaking in it, 
like some of the exotics i think they're absolutely useless especially some of the armor pieces like the the arms that i, I have been wearing they're good for melee but they're absolutely shit for anything else like they look good but i, I don't feel that, that i'm gonna be able to equip them for any decent time and it's gonna help me in battle and somehow i don't know whether this is just my opinion obviously you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below as always but honestly, I'm absolutely enjoying the Warmind. I'm so glad that there's grind. There's a reason for me to log in each day at the moment. Whether this continues over the next three or four weeks and remains to be seen. But at this precise moment, I'm absolutely enjoying it. One last thing before I do go, I just want to mention the fact that the soundtrack for this game is absolutely beautiful. I love every part of it. So yeah, I think that's about all of all I can cover in this video. I'm probably going to give this DLC, I, 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 I want to give it a high one, but there's still tweaks that need to be tweaked, do you know what I mean? So I'm probably going to give this a an 8 out of 10. We'll give this an 8 out of 10. Purely for the fact that I'm really enjoying it, it's giving me a reason to go back into it. But obviously the, the story was short, it could have been longer. The, the same old shit that we keep getting over the expansions but honestly it's an absolute beauty of a game and i'm absolutely enjoying it so here's hoping that the next big dlc in september will absolutely nail everything on the head and we will all come back to destiny now that is all i have time for in this video i know it's a bit longer than my usual review videos but there's a lot to cover and i feel that I need to express how I feel about the game at the moment and the current state of the game. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you did like it, please hit that like and subscribe for more videos. I don't just do Destiny videos, so if you are new to the channel and you're not a complete Destiny nutcase, then that's fine. I will be covering other videos along the year, especially with E3 coming up in June and with other game announcements probably coming prior to that and post of that. So please subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss any of those videos. And I just wanna say thank you very much for your support lately. It's been absolutely fantastic. I will keep con continuing this path of making great videos for you. So please take care of yourself guys and others and I will see you soon.